Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Redmi Note 11. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is all, uh, some floating windows. Now, if you go here on the square to open the recent tabs, you will have here on the top floating windows. These are some specific apps you can use next to an activity. Maybe if I'm watching YouTube. Now, let me open YouTube right now. So, and uh, if I open now the recent tabs here and go to the floating windows, I can open next to WhatsApp. That means I can watch uh, YouTube and can use next to uh, WhatsApp and answering messages and so on during I watch maybe this video. And uh, that's pretty, pretty cool. I can put it also on the top if I don't need it at the moment. Or if I want to have it, I just double tap there and I have it as full screen. So a nice tool. And uh, let me go back there to the recent tabs, to the floating windows. If you tap here on the editing symbol, you can also set up which apps you want to have available at this uh, floating windows mode. And the next one I want to show you is uh, for moments you don't want to feel disturbed. No? So usually we uh, put our phone here on silence, like in my case. But there's another option you can extend this silent mode. Because uh, also if you put your phone on silence, you see visually that someone is calling and that gives, gives you stress if you just want to concentrate at a moment. So, and um, also in cases you need your phone maybe, you see, oh, someone is calling and gives you stress. You are out of concentration and so on. Let me show you how you can extend this silent mode. Just scroll down here at the shortcuts again. And we have some more shortcuts, what is very nice. And there's this do not disturb. So DND mode. If I enable it, I have now no um, uh, incoming calls. I, don't, I can't see them as well as the notifications. And if I long press now the symbol here, I'm at the settings of it. So if I scroll down a bit here, we have here this do not disturb area. And here we can also schedule an automatic turn on time, maybe during your working time. Yeah? Also, if the device is locked, that is say, okay, whenever I lock the device, it has these reasons. I want to, um, uh, I don't want to have it any more than uh, to feel disturbed. And um, you can have a notification for some calls. Uh, and as well, you can set up this one. So if there's an urgent call, maybe if a person uh, calls you twice or more times within 50 minutes, then you will receive an information uh, here for repeating calls. So you should enable this in any case because uh, maybe there's an emergency or something like this, then you will receive here a notification. But a very nice mode that you can have a bit me time for yourself or a bit work time and so on. Okay, the next feature I want to show you is uh, for the speakers because um, if uh, your speakers are full of dust or something like this or your phone fell maybe into water, then you have a little chance to uh, clear these speakers. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, also right next to the camera no? so that we have the control center here. Then you have here the simple for the settings. And then you need to scroll down to the point additional settings and here's a point named clear speakers. If you enable this point, you hear already the noise. Huh? So, you should really give them the 30 seconds. And uh, go back with the arrow if it's disturbing too much, uh, like now. <laughs> and uh, this will free uh, the speakers from dust. You can repeat it also for two or three times. And uh, also if the phone fell in the water, you have a chance to clean it a bit, but if it really falls into water, I recommend to you to off the phone for two or three days. This could uh, maximize the chances to, res to rescue the phone. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the next point I want to show you is for the cameras, because you know that we have, or you can see that we have more than one. And let me show you a bit about more of these cameras, what you can do with them. So let's open the camera. So this is our main cam here. No? So basically, by the way, you don't use the full 50 MP, you just use 12 MPs. And um, this is our little friend here. Okay. Here you have some points in the middle next to the one time. Uh, so, uh, and this is the way you can choose between the 
cameras a bit. So maybe you are in front of a group, uh, a group and you want to make a group picture. Yeah? So my hand is not really part, it's just a half of my hand. No? But if I go you know, here on the most left point, I have uh, enabled the ultra wide cam and now I have much more range here. No? Let's compare this main cam and it's the ultra wide cam. You can see much more right now. Same also if you're in front of a building and so on, you um, have made with this cam the full building. Then, um, but the quality uh, of the main cam is much better. That's the reason why you should use mainly the main cam. The most wide point here is a zoom. No, you zoom directly two, for two times, but you still can pinch in to have more zoom and so on. And we will have another cam. If you're very close here to some object like me now here at my friend, then I can also go here to the three lines, go in macro, and then I enable the macro camera. You can see the camera can focus right now. Without the macro cam, it can't focus. Huh? See, without the cam, it can't really focus. But if I enable this camera, you can focus again. But also here, the quality is not that good uh, as the main cam. But in some cases, like in this one, you can uh, have a better picture than without focusing. Okay, let me show you something more. Because you can shoot also here uh, pictures not only with the shutter button here, so you can also shoot pictures here with the volume keys. But if you should make this with the volume keys, you have always a little timer, what is also very useful. So in cases you want to arrange something, then you should use here uh, the volume keys and you have a little timer. If three seconds are too less, you can you go also to the hamburger menu and you can set up uh, basically a timer up to 10 seconds uh, for the shutter button then. Uh, so uh, let me show you it again. Go here for the 10 seconds and it's only for the shutter button. Up with the volume keys, you have always just three seconds. And three seconds can be enough. You can really see how long uh, 10 seconds could be. Okay, let me show you now something else. And I want to remove first here the micro cam and the timer. Okay, let me show you something else with the camera because that's a very crazy thing. Um, let me put your two coins on the table to, for an example, let me take a picture first of the two coins. Okay, because you can edit your picture and uh, if you go now, you're in the preview, huh? or you can go later also on the picture at the gallery, then you have here the point to edit no? with this icon here to edit your photo. And uh, you have some basic stuff you can crop, maybe a part of the of your photo no? if you don't want to have everything here and so on. And you have some uh, intelligent tools like the A, uh, you can find them here, the A1, uh, AI. So, and one of them is the Erase tool. Okay, uh, let me erase here the coin. Crazy, huh? The coin is here, the coin is gone. And it looks almost perfect. No? My, my, my table has a structure and you can't see really that there is. A, if you know it, then you can see a bit, but this is really awesome. And uh, with this feature, you can also erase uh, some persons, maybe if you, if you um, uh, make some pictures at a beach or something like this, and um, you have another free view and so on, you can erase persons there um, at the picture and, um, or whatever. Yeah, I really love this feature, I have to say. The next feature I want to show you is a basic feature, but it is important if you want to make, uh, if you want to capture something from a website or someone's status at WhatsApp or something like this, you can make a screenshot, so a picture of the screen. Yeah? For that, we will need the power button and the volume down button. Press these both buttons just for short together and you're having a screenshot. You can see the preview and below you can share directly with WhatsApp, Telegram and so on. So one more time, the power button and the volume down button just for short together 
and you're having a screenshot. If you tap here on the preview, you're also able to edit the screenshot here. You can draw something inside, highlight something, or the corners here, you can crop, as we have seen also before at the coin example, you can crop a part here of the screen, uh, be nice for status, or if you want to have a picture from a website or something like this. And there's a second way to take a screenshot, and for that you, you will need three fingers. And this is crazy because just slide them across the screen and then you have a screenshot as well. So one more time, swipe three fingers across the screen and you will have a screenshot as well. And for the friends of video uh, recording, uh, you have also a screen recorder here. Uh, which you act for your actions here if you want to um, make a video of your screen actions like in a game or something like this. For that, just scroll down right next to the camera, drive through the shortcuts and you see maybe the icon already with the camera, just tap on it and then you will have here this little tool to record your screen actions. Just tap on the red button and start it and whatever you do right now will be recorded. When you want to stop it, just tap on it on the tool and tap again on it to stop the video. Right next to the record button you have the folder for uh, your previous uh, screen recordings and also here the, th uh, the third point, um, the settings is important because you can set up uh, the video quality no? and the resolution uh, as well as the frame rate and so on. Um, if you want really to make a good looking video you should uh, have it at maximum but it's taking a lot of energy, uh, of storage, sorry. And uh, this is the reason why you should set it up a bit if you want to make just a simple tutorial. Yeah? Okay, uh, the sound source is also important here because if you just want to have the system sound, so the sound of the app maybe, or if you want to explain something, so then should, you should turn on the microphone here. And you... Oh, that's a motorbike, a very loud one. I don't know if you hear that outside. Okay, and uh, the last point. Uh, here uh, uh, at the settings for the screen recordings, is, uh, they are also very important to show touch gestures and to show button taps. Because if you want to explain something, uh, then it may be nice to see where you have tapped the screen and also which button you have tapped maybe. And this phone uh, or this tool here make it visible with some animations. So you should uh, enable them. And when you want to leave the tool, just tap on the X here and the tool is gone. But you can have Whenever you want to have the tool back, just here tap on the screen recording icon. Yeah, the next mode I want to show you is uh, for one hand use because uh, the phone is large and so on, and I have large hands, but I cannot reach everything with one thumb. But there's a way to make the phone, also the screen, a bit smaller uh, by just using the navigation bar. Let me show you how this works. So, first of all, you have to enable this. So, just scroll on here. Right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point, additional settings. And here we have the one-handed mode. And this one-handed mode has to be marked blue here, like in my case. Okay, as I said, we will need the uh, navigation bar here because if you swipe from the inside to the outside, then you will have now this mini screen. And you can use uh, you can use the full phone You on this mini screen, you can play games and so on, you can uh, enter apps, uh, f f whatever. Yeah? You can use the full uh, 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 you can use the full phone on this mini screen. Whenever you finish with, just tap on the outside and you're, you're back in the regular mode. Yeah? Um, I'm right-handed, so let me put it on the other side. So if I sw swipe from the inside now to the arrow here, I have it now on the right side and uh, I can easily navigate now as right-handed person. And um, yeah, whenever you finish, I've said it already, just tap here on the outside. Okay, now we're at the last point and uh, this is a very intelligent system. And for that, we will need the camera here for. And here at the top, you will have here this square with a white point in it. Tap on it. And first of all, you have to activate some stuff and so on. Uh, but he's guiding you during this process and then you have this nice tool here. It recognizes things. Okay, let's take here maybe a battery. Let's check if it recognizes the battery. And he's recognizing this battery and he's recognizing as well uh, the brand and also the size of the battery. There's not written that it's double A, 
but he has recognized that double A. So um, a pretty nice, you know, it's not written here. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. And let's check also a coin, 10 cent. Can he recognize 10 cent? Normally I say yes, but uh, you see uh, the system is still in progress. Um, it recognized that it's a coin, but he didn't really recognize. Okay, we was one what matched with 10 cent, but uh, he can't really recognize coins actually, but it is on a good way, um, the system, and you can do so much more with. Let me take a book right now because uh, you can also read text here. So just go on text next to him and you can hold your phone on the text and it's recognizing the text and you can copy it with just one tap. And it's in your phone right now, the text. You don't have to write word by word. Very useful for studies. Huh? And if you tap on listen, Sonntags im Sommer spazierte die here you will read also this text. Huh? And um, yeah, and it's getting more crazy because as you have uh, seen already, the book is not in English. It is in German. And if I go here on translate, the phone will auto detect the language by its own and uh, yeah, uh, translate it huh? and translate it directly. Uh, so pretty, pretty awesome. And, and as well, you can make also a live translation. What's crazy uh, at the holidays, may if you want uh, to see in a restaurant the card and so on, you can make a live translation with that. And as well here, if you tap on the shuttle button, you can copy it automatically, work on it, listen it, listen on to Sundays it. Sundays in the summer. To the, the translation. The and um, yeah. An awesome tool no, for your studies, for your holidays. Yeah, this has been uh, 10 tips and tricks for the Redmi Note 11. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or may just subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.